Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. I've been a teacher, designer, and author in the craft industry for over 15 years. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making one of the projects from my brand new book, 52 Crochet Gifts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Minka Hooded Cowl. This beautiful hooded cowl is worked in the round using easy stitches. The Pico trimmed chain fringe frames the collarbones and shoulders elegantly. The drape of the yarn allows the hood to sit up on the head on a blustery, windery day or make beautiful folds as it drapes around the neck. You'll need one ball of Biso Toasty yarn to make this project and we'll also be using a size four millimeter crochet hook. Be So Toasty yarn is my number one fingering weight yarn that is 65% merino wool and 35% bamboo. And today we'll be using hand dyed colorway aqua. Let's get started. To make the exact same cowl as shown in the photo and in the pattern, you'll need to chain 136, which is a multiple of eight. I'll be doing a smaller version for the tutorial but just remember that if you wanted to modify the size of this project, you would want to adjust that starting chain by a multiple of eight. So we tied our yarn to our crochet hook and we're going to chain a multiple of eight. Okay, for the video tutorial, I did a smaller multiple of eight. I did eight times five or 40 chains. And now I want to slip stitch to join in the round being careful not to twist my chain. So I like to make it face forward and then slide the chain under my thumb and index finger on my left hand. And as I slide it through, I can usually feel if it stays straight or if it's twisted. So I've kept it straight and now I'll come back to the first chain and slip stitch to join. And then we're ready to begin round one. For round one, we have a chain three, which counts as our first stitch, and then we'll double crochet, one double crochet in each of the next four chains. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Notice how I'm also working over my tail. It's just a habit that I have to work over my tail. It helps me to eliminate ends to weave in at the end of the project. Next, we're going to chain three. Skip the next three chains. So we'll skip one, two, three, and then one double crochet in each of the next five chains. chain three and skip the next three chains. So our repeat all the way around will be chain three, skip three chains, and one double crochet into each of the next five chains. You wanna repeat that all the way around. Okay, at the end of the round, we'll skip our last three chains and slip stitch into the first chain, <clears throat> into the third chain of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the end of round one should look like. Round two begins with a chain six. Skip the next stitch and double treble crochet in the next stitch. So it's yarn over three times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double treble in the next stitch, yarn over three times, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 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 chain three. Skip the chain three on the previous row and then in the next double crochet, double treble,
chain one, skip the next stitch, double treble in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, double treble in the next stitch, chain three. And so our repeat for the row will be double treble, chain one, double treble, chain one, double treble, chain three. And we'll repeat that all the way around. At the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch to join to the first stitch at the beginning of the round. And remember how we did a chain six? Well, that counted as five of those chains being the double treble crochet and then a chain one. So we're gonna count up to the fifth chain and slip stitch into the fifth chain of the chain six at the beginning of the round to join, and that will count as slip stitching into the first stitch or the double treble. Row three, be, around three begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet in the next chain one space, double crochet in the next double treble crochet, double crochet in the next chain one space, and double crochet in the next double treble chain three, skip the chain three on the previous row, and work one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next chain space, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next chain space, one double crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip the next chain three space. And so what we'll repeat around the row is one double crochet into each of the next stitch, chain one, stitch, chain one, stitch, chain three, skip the chain three. And we'll repeat that all the way around. The round, we're going to slip stitch to join to the top of the first stitch at the beginning of the round. The first stitch was a chain three that counted as a double crochet. So you want to slip stitch into the top third chain of that chain three space. And now we'll repeat rounds two and three until our cowl is our desired length. Then I'll show you how to do the fringe. Okay, I only did a couple of repeats for the tutorial, but you would wanna repeat rounds two and three for the desired total length of your cowl. And then you wanna end on a round three so that we can do our last, our first round of the edging rather. And our first round, we're gonna start with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And one double crochet into each of the next three chains or three double crochets in the next chain three space, whichever you prefer to do it. You could work into the individual chains or just work into the chain space, but you want an equivalent of one double crochet for each of those chains then one double crochet into each of the next five double crochet stitches. And three double crochets in the next chain three space. And so our repeat around is one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets and three double crochets in the next chain three space. You wanna repeat that all the way around. Okay, at the end of the round, we'll slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the end of the first round of the edging should look like. It should just be all double crochet at this point. Now round two and the final round of the edging is how we do this beautiful Pico edged chain fringe and we're going to start with a chain 15 oops chain 15 single crochet into the third chain from our hook we don't count the loop on our hook we count back one two three single crochet in that third chain from our hook chain 12 And then we're gonna loop our pinky in the middle of this long chain, which is around where that pico is, 
to give us some structure as we're coming back down to the last round of our work and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch into the next double crochet on that round one of the edging and that's it we're going to repeat this all the way around we're going to repeat chain 15 single crochet into the third chain from our hook chain 12 hook the middle of the long chain in your pinky as we come back down and insert our crochet hook into the next stitch along round one of the edging and slip stitch into that stitch and we'll start again chain 15 and you get the idea so then we'll have these beautiful fring chain fringes with a pico perfectly placed in the center of each fringe along the entire perimeter of the cowl. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. And don't forget, all the links from the things that we talked about in this video are available in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.